David Stockman, all right, former budget director under Ronald Reagan, causing a lot of buzz with that op-ed in the New York Times over the weekend. He warns of a stock market bubble. Again, I'm going to quote. This is what he said in the article. When it bursts, there will be no new round of bailouts like the ones the banks got in 08. Instead, America will descend into an era of zero-sum austerity and virulent political conflict, extinguishing even today's feeble remnants of economic growth. David Stockman, that is very, very strong stuff, isn't it? Well, I, I think we need to recognize where we are, shed the recency bias that says what we've been doing for the last couple of years only will take a little more time and recognize the trend. Here's the trend. Main Street economy has been failing for a decade or longer. Failing in what sense? Well, for one, we have created only 17,000 jobs a month since 2000. In the last 13 years, average 17 a month, we need 150. Investment growth, business investment, real growth, less than 1% a year for 12 years. Real income, a real net worth of the 90% on the bottom, down 25%. I could give many others, but the point is the Main Street economy is struggling. On the other hand, we have the Fed bubble machine creating serial bubbles that essentially end up shooting the wealth and income up to the top 1% and leaving everyone else behind. This is the third time we have been at 1560 plus or minus yep, yep. on the S&P. We've had two devastating collapses. Uh, dot com, five trillion lost. Gre uh, Greenspan reflated the bubble. We hit Lehman, seven trillion loss. Bernanke reflates the bubble. All this money he's created is simply circulating in the canyons of Wall Street. It doesn't go out to the and, real economy and shouldn't. And you're saying <clears throat> there's no way around it. I'm saying the, the bursting this is of the bubble is coming and get out of the way because there's nothing that policymakers or anybody else can do about this. I, yes, because the entire f uh, machinery of Wall Street is medicated, driven uh, by Fed policy. The interest rate isn't a real free market uh, interest rate anymore. It's entirely pegged and medicated. The overnight rate, the three-year rate, the five-year rate, the ten-year rate, all of them are set by the Fed. All of the fast money traders are trading against the Fed. And if they think the Fed is ever going to trade direction, change directions, they will sell the bond as fast as they bought it. And that's why we're in the mother of all bond prices. The stock market trades entirely on whether there's more juice coming from the Fed and okay. whether the smoke signals are real. Last line of your article in the Times was, uh, okay, you, you say basically, don't hang around, uh, the, bu the bu bubble is going to be burst, and, it, and basically get out, of, get out of it and get into cash. Yes, That's because if we look at the history of the three bubbles we've been through, this is the third one. When the buildup happens, it takes months and months and years, four years. And so pretty soon all the talking heads are saying, this time is different. We're on the way. This is the, uh, remember, the yes. Goldilocks economy. And then when the bubble breaks and the Fed can't stop it, you lose all of that ground within a matter of a few trading days or a few weeks. You can't get out of the way. So we learned that lesson in 2007, 2008. People got devastated yeah. because they couldn't get out of the way. When they finally got out of the way, the fast money had already figured that Bernanke is reflating the bubble. So the fast money bought all the junk and has now laughed all the way to well, the look, bank. A lot of our people, we're listening to you. Yeah. You're a respectable guy. You've got yeah. credibility. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're listening to what you've got to say. And you'll say, get into cash. Now, right. what, what do you mean by that? I mean, uh, Treasury I'm, securities I'm or saying bank that deposit? I'm saying into short-term bank deposits or Treasury securities because the capital markets and the money markets are entirely rigged. They're entirely... Okay. No uh, stocks? Uh, no bonds? No, it's there, it's dangerous. It's a dangerous gold. casino. How about gold? Uh, I think gold is probably, in the end, going to win out because all the fiat monies of the world are in a race to the bottom. But even gold is subject to all of these trading forces and margin calls and a lot of speculation, so I'm not even that confident about it. But what I do know is that this market lives and dies by the last word of the Fed, and the people at the Fed have no clue what they're doing. Bernanke is the most dangerous man ever to hold high financial office in the history well, of the United States. In 2004, the Fed did orchestrate rate hikes, though. And they, it came off pretty well in 2004. There was 15, 17 rate hikes. 
The question is, can they do it again? And also, when do you see this bubble bursting and what time frame? Well, first of all, I don't think the rate hikes did so well. They raised the rate 25 basis points, a little bit, a little bit at a time. That actually fueled the subprime bubble because it drove mortgages into high yield uh, rates and into the subprime market. And then all of a sudden, uh, 207, 208, the whole thing craters. So uh, the Fed creates bubbles. It shouldn't create bubbles. It shouldn't be out there pumping this when kind of When does it burst? Hold on a second. Hold on. I, I, I'm almost out of time. Yeah. I want you to respond to Paul Krugman. Paul Krugman writes this morning. You know the guy, okay? Princeton yeah. Economic for the Nobel Prize, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. He says, what you've written is cranky old man stuff, the kind of thing you get from people who read Investor's Business Daily, listen to Rush Limbaugh, and maybe if they're unusually teched up, Get investment advice from Zero Hedge. Sad is how he says. Your response? Well, when Paul Krugman was a young man on the staff of the Reagan economic staff in the White House helping us with the tax cuts, he was a pleasant, astute young man. And something over the last 30 years happened to him. <laughs> and apparently uh, he's lost his way or changed his mind. All right, David Stockman, this, is, this article from the, in the Times, that's part of a book, isn't it? What's yes. the name of the book? Uh, the Great Deformation, the no. Corruption of Capitalism in America. Has it just been published? Yes, it's today. Just, it's out today? Yes. And you're, is this your first TV interview? Uh, a few, but... Uh, oh, <laughs> David Stockman, what a pleasure. It was great to have you with us. Come We're again glad soon. Glad to be here. I Certainly think we've got a real buzz going here yeah. with this thing. Thank okay. you, David. Thank you.